Good morning. I want to demonstrate a new product that I found. This is called Nestle's Neato Powdered Milk. This is dry. This is true powdered milk. I'm going to finish taking the top off of it. Comes in a metal can. And it's very, very powdery. It's not like the uh, instant milk you usually get. Now, I also want to mention the fact that this is powdered whole milk. This is not skim milk or non fat milk. This is probably what you're used to seeing in the grocery store. Something like this. Instant, non-fat dry milk. Uh, and this does mix really easily. But uh, the other, this new milk that I bought, I just got it at Kroger. Uh, you mix it with warm water. And it's so... Uh, if you want a liter of it, you would mix a cup of powdered milk to a liter of warm water. But for smaller amounts, like a cup, it only takes a fourth of a cup. Now this takes a third of a cup, which is a lot higher amount. There's a third cup. And here's a fourth cup. And you can see the texture difference. This is the instant non-fat. And it will mix quickly in cold water. This is the powdered whole milk, and it mixes in warm water, and then you have to cool it down. Now, the price of them is just about the same. Uh, the price of this can is about the same as a large box of the instant milk. But since you're using less, it works out to be a better deal. So what I'm going to do... It's mix. I'm gonna mix the uh, the instant milk up first with a cup of cold water. Got my big measuring cup here. one cup. It's a little over a cup, really. All right. One cup of cold water. And then I'm going to mix it. Mixes very quickly and easily, <clears throat> so that's not an issue. Okay, that one's mixed. Now, I'm going to use the powdered milk, which is a little different product. Remember, it's not it's not the same as instant. I've got some water in my tea kettle. So I'm going to mix, I'm going to put a cup of warm water. This is pretty hot, so I'm probably going to cut it a little bit with the other water. I left it on too long. It doesn't have to be hot water. It just has to be warm. Add it to the one cup line. Pour it in. And 
mix it. Now, if you're going to drink it, you probably want to chill it or put ice in it or something. But, there's a difference in the color. The non-fat dry milk is really white because there's no cream in it. The whole powdered milk is got a little bit of a creamy look to it. It also has a little bit different texture. Not a lot because they're both liquid. But this one seems really watery when you pick it up in the spoon. This one looks like milk. I've used um, powdered milk before and uh, it really is very economical to use and if you're like us you don't have good refrigeration because we're off grid <coughs> then you've got a way to keep milk on hand all the time uh, and even if you do have good refrigeration it's a good idea to have some kind of uh, dry milk like the powdered milk on hand to uh, in case of emergencies or just for cooking because this is really handy to make to make one cup of milk or even a quart of milk if you need it and uh, <clears throat> uh, use it in your cooking gravy and sauces and cake and biscuits and whatever you're going to cook so I just want to share that with you this uh, powdered milk was close to seventeen dollars for this can Let's see. this is about three and a half pounds the uh, I don't know how many total okay Hold this on. can is supposed to make 53 eight ounce cups of milk So that's not a bad deal. 53 servings of milk. It's not as inexpensive as buying fresh milk all the time. But it is a pretty good deal if you're going to use it in an off-grid situation. Or just for emergencies or just for cooking or something like that. And then you don't have to use your fresh milk. This is still warm. I'm going to take a little taste of it. It actually doesn't taste bad at all. It's good. And I already know what, what powdered milk tastes like and it's not very good. But this will be good. Pretty tasty. It's smooth and has a creamy feel in your mouth. Thanks for watching.